Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and in today's video we're going to be trying to fix one of the biggest issues with Android 12 and that is the notification shade. Now a lot of people are wondering if they can downgrade from Android 12 to Android 11 for example just for this very reason. Now yes the notification shade on Android 12 isn't necessarily the most useful thing in the world and yes okay it doesn't look the nicest but if you do want to change it is there an easy way to do so? Well that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. So. Let's take a look. This video is sponsored by the Ugreen X6 High Tune Noise Cancelling Earbuds. They feature 50 milliseconds ultra low latency, 6 mic noise cancellation, and you've also got 35 dB noise cancellation all built on board. Now you've also got around 6 hours worth of battery playback and 26 extra hours in the case itself, giving you around 32 hours of full charge to get a great long listening experience. The sound quality is extremely good, you've got that really deep rich bass, really nice mid-tones and those really crisp high notes as well, and the noise cancelling does a really great job of blocking out some of those background rumbles that you may hear. Now it's definitely better at low frequencies as opposed to those high frequencies, but if you're out and about with traffic or on an airplane or any sort of transport, these do a really good job of blocking out all of the background noise. So if you want to check out the Ugreen X6 High Tone earbuds, check them out in the description down below. Now onto the video. Okay guys, so the purpose of this video is only to change the notification shade. I'm actually a huge fan of Android 12 in general, and I also like the Material U options as well, but the notification shade could definitely be an improvement on what it currently is, and a lot of people, myself included, think that that goes back to the version that we had only in Android 11. So again, not too far back, but it does make a major change. Now the reason for this is smaller quick settings options, so you have way more on the screen itself, and you don't have the kind of limitations that you may have with some of the quick settings buttons on Android 12. Most importantly, for example, the internet toggle. Again, that worked completely different with Android 11 and a ton of people prefer the way that it used to work as opposed to what it does now. Also just little things as well, like the brightness slider, for example, it's just one big bar now. And again, people don't necessarily like that. They did prefer the line. It was a little bit easier to see exactly where you're gonna be getting your brightness. So just some little tweaks here and there to just improve the overall experience of the notifications and also those quick settings. And the way that we're gonna be changing it from Android Android 12 to Android 11 is by simply downloading an application direct from the Play Store. So anybody can do it, you don't have to root your device or really do anything technical, it's just downloading a free app directly from there and again it will be linked in the description down below. Now unfortunately although it is a free application it's only free for 30 days and then there is a subscription model that's included which is $9.99 per year. So yes okay it's not necessarily the most expensive app out there but it would be nice to have just a sort of you know three or four pound option for just buying it outright and just getting all of the pro features instead of having this more sort of subscription based model which I'm not a huge fan of. So once you head over to the Play Store you want to search for the application called Power Shade. Now once you actually download it it will actually have a slightly different icon in your application drawer than it will on Google Play for some reason but it's very easy to find and once you click into it it's going to give you a bit more information on the free and the pro versions. So again for the first 30 days if you use the free version you're going to have access to the adjustable tiles, layout configuration and that's pretty much it. Obviously with the paid version, you're then gonna get customized backgrounds, advanced settings, and it will get rid of any advertisements as well. But like I mentioned, that's gonna cost $9.99 per year. Now the free version, they also call it basic and also the limited version. So they really want you to get that more pro version of the application. And don't get me wrong, I'm all for supporting app developers. So if it is a good application, I don't mind putting down a little bit of money to help out. Now there is also an option to use the limited version of the application full time as well. So again, Again, you will only have those two features that I mentioned beforehand, whereas if you use the free trial for 30 days, it will give you all of the features but then start automatically charging you. So what we're going to be doing today is just trying it with the limited version as they call it to see exactly what we can do or can't do and if that's kind of the only option that you need to use. Now once you open the application and you try the limited version, obviously you need to do the accessibility and also notification options so that basically the application can work and feel exactly like your standard notification shade would. And then once you're in here, it's basically like a launcher for your notification shade. So you can change things in regards to the grid size, the number of headers, the tile size, all that sort of information as well. And it just basically makes it look like it would do on Android 11. So once you swipe down, you can see that it looks exactly as it did do on the previous version of Android. And again, that's kind of the whole point of what this video is about. Now, if you've used Android 11 at all, you know what you're getting yourself into with the new notification shade that we've just downloaded. It looks and feels exactly like it did do on the prior version of 
of Android. Now this is going to be the kind of Google version of the notification shade that you would have found on a Pixel device for example. So if you are using something like a Galaxy device, anything from Samsung, Sony, whoever it may be and you've got Android 12 up and running, then yes if you use this option it's going to look more like it would on a Pixel device as opposed to Android 11 running on one of those devices specifically. Now because it is an application you do also have some other options as well. So if you want your notification panel to have a slight blur effect to it instead of a standard solid color then you've got the option to do so as well along with changing pretty much all of the colors in the notification shade to get the exact look and feel that you're looking for. Now for me I do actually like material design on Android 12 more importantly the material use side of things and okay yes this application means that it's not going to follow your wallpaper theming for example but if you do have the same wallpaper for a long period of time and you just want to adjust your notification panel and quick settings to you know match that in a certain way then again you've got the option to do so with all of the color options and the different theming options within the application itself. So overall PowerShade is a pretty good application, again completely free to use, that allows you to get the look and feel of the Android 11 notification shade and the quick settings on your Android 12 device. Now if you guys know of any other options for changing some certain things on Android 12 to kind of make it a little bit more like what we had on previous versions of Android, let me know in the comments section down below exactly what it is, what the application is called, and I can see if we can feature it in a future video. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below, and if you don't necessarily like Android 12, like I've mentioned in previous videos, let me know exactly why in the comments below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. If you're not already subscribed to the channel now is a great time to do so and also hit that notification button so that you're notified anytime I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.